Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. I want to please you, Lord. Hey. This yes. is my daily prayer. Just to please you, Lord. Come on and lift holy hands I and worship. Want your spirit near. Yes. And as I read your holy letter. Father, we can read it. loves their worship. I want to please yes, you. Yes, I want Jesus. to please you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. This is my daily bread. Yes, it is to please you, Lord. I want your spirit near. And as I read your holy hey. Yes, Lord. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Yes, Lord. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you. Can you say that with me as I read your holy letter? Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy letter. Lord, I want to know you better as I read your holy let that be our prayer. Lord, we want to know you better. Let that be the prayer of our heart. Let that be the prayer of your heart to know your Father better. Yes, Lord, we want to know you better, Lord Jesus. We want to get closer, Lord. We want to get closer. Yes, Lord. We're tired of going through the motion, God. We're tired of going through the motion. We want more. We're thirsty. We're hungry for more. Yes, Lord, we're hungry for more. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord I want to please you, Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit, to please our Father. I want to please you, oh. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. I want to please you. Ah. I want to know you better. Ah. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Lord, I want to draw closer to you, Jesus. Hey. Yes, Lord. I yes. want to know you well. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want to walk in your word. Yes, Lord. Oh, she's getting closer. He's getting closer. Yes, Lord. Ah. Make our yes, yo, yes, Lord. Make our yes, yo, yes. Break our heart to the things that break your heart. Yes, Lord. I want to please you. Yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I want yes, Lord. to please you. Ah. Uh, I want yes, to please you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want to please you. Yes, Lord. Father, help us to please you in the name of Jesus. Father, we're tired and we're hungry and we're thirsty, Lord. Lord, we're hungry for more. And we thank you this morning, Lord, as you're going to allow us to go inside the mind of Satan and take back what rightfully belonged to us. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to go inside the mind of the enemy. To see what he strategically trying to steal, kill, and to tear down our life in you. Father, I thank you for your anointing to teach. 
And Lord, I ask that anointing be placed upon the ears of thy people. Let us receive revelation knowledge, Lord. Revelation knowledge for change. And when it's all said and done, Lord, as I give you the glory, Father, I say we will never be the same. We will never be the same. We will never be the same. Lord, right now, as you search minds and hearts, Father, we confess our sin, things said and things that was done. Lord, we stand on 1 John 1, 9. Dear Father, you said if we confess those sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us, then cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And under the sound of your breath, confess your sins. Your neighbor don't have to hear it. Just speak it forth under your breath from your mouth. Why, preacher? That it'll be a releasing from your soul. Now, dear Father, we thank you that you said in Isaiah 43 and 25, Lord, that you remember our transgression no more. For your own sakes, Lord, that we may come and meet with you and reason with you and state our case. Now that we have confessed our sins, Lord, we know that there is no condemnation for those of us that are in Christ Jesus that walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Now we can stand proud and bold and say all things have passed away and now things have become new, Lord. We got our confidence, Father. There's no shame and there's no guilt in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, dear Father. Come on and clap your hands again for the Lord. While you're clapping, you might want well to begin to shout just a little bit. Come on, begin to shout with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, your royal priesthood. Come on, begin to shout unto God. Hallelujah. But King Solomon said in the Psalm of Solomon 3 and 4, we have finally found the one our soul love. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Well, as I look out into the audience, praise God. We see the man of God and the woman of God finally made it back home. Deacon Dick Wim and Catherine Wim, please stand for the, the new membership. This is our deacon and his wife, Kathy. They've been away on vacation for the summer, and we welcome them back home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank God for Pastor Kersey and his wife, First Lady Kersey, praise God, and their beautiful daughter. Hallelujah for being with us this morning. We praise God and we thank God for it. Hallelujah. We thank God for our very own pastor, praise God, Pastor Miller. First Lady Beverly Miller, praise God, who's away on vacation. Everybody needs to get away sometime, praise God. And we thank God that how God is using Pastor and Sister Miller to continue to challenge us as a generation and not cater to us as a generation. Praise God. Praise God for the deacon and the trustees. And thank God for you, New Life Church of Faith, for receiving me once again. I take it not lightly to stand before you. Praise God. There is a mighty word from the Lord. And I've been praying that God slow me down and allow me to teach this. God have allowed me to go inside the mind of Satan. And found out the reason why he's come to steal, kill, and demolish our life in Christ. And as you receive this word, I will beg you also to get a CD because you want to rewind and hear this over and over again. Not that I be lifted up, but the word of God be lifted up. Because it's about high time, people of God, that we begin to prosper in God. I want to thank God for my wife, Kelly. Praise God. Not only she's my wife, she's my friend. She's my counselor, praise God. And I do love her. We thank God for 14 years I've been married to this lady. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. And out in the world, they said I would never get married. But look at me now, praise God. Thank God for my mother-in-law, Charlene, prayer warrior, praise God. Thank God for my beautiful daughter, praise. My son, Rod, I stand before you, humble but very, very blessed. My son, Rob, will be getting his B.A. degree next Saturday in business management. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
And after we travel there, the following weekend, we're going to Mississippi and see my baby boy graduate from high school. Hallelujah. I stand very blessed and very proud. And my baby girl prays, continue to pray and continue to make A's in school. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank God for my children. My daughter, Danielle, is working and continuing to pursue her uh, uh, career in modeling. Thank God for my children. I tell you, never give up on your kids. I don't care what it looked like. It didn't look good for Rod at first. But the more we prayed and the more we counseled him, not only is he getting his degree, but the young man got a love for God like I have never seen. And I will often pray, Lord, have him to fall in love with you. And this boy was home for the weekend. He'd get up out of the bed before he even get out of bed and brush the teeth and take a shower. He'd get the Bible and start eating the word of God. So God will answer your prayer. Praise God. If you stay faithful, he will answer that prayer in our kids. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God for my uncle Spank. Is I only he's my uncle, he's my friend. Praise God. My Aunt Marilyn, praise God. I saw Marsha where she is. Somebody go get her. Praise God. Thank God for her. Now thank God for my sister-in-laws, my only two sister-in-law. If I don't if I don't mention them, Tanya won't let me forget it. Tanya, my Shirley, praise God, my, my brother Chris. Minister Chris Soda, my, my brother Deacon Leodum, my nieces and nephews, my cousins, I love you, I see you, praise God. Uh, my goddaughter Nikki, praise God, continue to pray for that child. I'm just kidding, we, we love you, girl, praise God. And praise God, uh, there is a word from the Lord. And let me not forget the ministers, praise God, here at New Life Church of Faith. If you was not here on Good Friday, my Lord, my God. You talking about the, the rivers of living water flowing out of the belly. My God, I am very proud to be amongst minister here at New Life Church of Faith. And I, I do now boldly stand and say we are now ready for the front line of battle. It took us a while to get there. But my God, I believe we have arrived and we battle tested, ready to stand in the gap for our pastor and first lady. And ready to stand in the gap for you, New Life Church of Faith. We got some mighty warriors here at New Life Church of Faith. My Lord, my God, proud to be amongst them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm making sure I don't forget nobody. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord. And as I said again, I thank God for what he has done, how he allowed and showed me how to go inside the mind of Satan. And what you, I want you to hear this word. Praise God. And, and, and meditate on this word. Praise God. Meditate on that you really get it in your spirit. Uh, before we turn to our scripture text, it is said in John 10.10, 10, you don't have to turn there because that is not our scripture text, but John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The word abundantly means life of overflowing, a life to just tip over, run over. He came and he lived on this earth for 33 years. Three of the 33 years he gave to ministry. Now he died, He's, he was buried, he rose again that we may have this prosperous life. But we can't be naive because the I will of Satan. Repeat that with me. Said the I will of Satan. The I will of Satan has come to steal, to kill, to demolish, tear down, tear up, and to do away with our life in Christ. The I will. Of Satan. In your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Hosea. The book of Hosea. Praise God. Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4. The book of Hosea chapter 4. We're going to read the first down through the sixth verse. The book of Hosea. Verse 6. Verse 1 through the sixth verse. And while you turn in there, let me set this thing 